Hello, Lace in Thailand and today's video is going to be a little bit of a what I think is going on in Thailand at the minute. Now I'm a positive guy, I'm always thinking the glass is half full as opposed to half empty and I've lived in Thailand now for almost 10 years. So I've enjoyed Thailand for the past 8 or 9 years but this past year I've got to say it's, it's changed dramatically and I was shocked by watching a, a video yesterday and I'll leave a link to this video that shocked me and watch the video it's from another youtuber but it sort of brought it home to me that Les living in Thailand is living in a bit of a bubble and as I say I, I watch the news I watch the Covid updates I watch everything that goes on in Thailand but because I don't live in a tourist location you sort of blinkered to actually what's going on in Thailand and I live in a lovely location it's not a tourist hotspot and life pretty much goes on normal here uh, we've been to Koh Chang we've been to Koh Samet which is tourist based and we don't really see bad things happening today we, we, we see a few businesses are closed and we understand that anything to do with the tourist industry is struggling at the moment I'm not a bar person I sort of don't miss the entertainment venues the bars and the, what goes on so where I live in Rayong there's a lot of oil based industry around here so it's quite an affluent place for people to live and the only tourist dependent location really is Koh Samet and um, they suffer but they, they still get the domestic travellers from um, Bangkok who come most weekends so it hasn't took a bigger hit as the more dependent locations that regard tourists as their income. Now I've been watching the, the sandbox episode what's going on in, in Phuket and in my mind it's sort of knee jerk reactions from week to week everything gets changed from day to day everything gets changed they're going to do this they're going to do that going to do the others but again watch this video link that I'm going to put on later on in the video and this is what Pattaya looks like now and I dare say Phuket looks exactly the same if somebody did a video like the one in Pattaya it's so soul destroying I lived in Pattaya for two years and I enjoyed every single minute of living in Pattaya for the two years it was a vibrant hustle and bustle place always plenty to do it was an exciting city to live in for the two years that I lived there and to see it now in the situation that it's in I shed a tear because all my good memories of living in Pattaya by watching this video it's it's shameful to see it's shocking to to see the hierarchy of let this happen to Pattaya and many other tourist hotspots there is no support there is no it, it, it just seems nobody cares and Thai people will just get on with it the, I've seen other videos with so many Thai homeless people you never used to see that on the streets here but I always put a positive spin to my videos and again this video that I put up here with regard to living costs in Thailand it's had a lot a lot of good views but like I said if you're coming for the entertainment and you come for the excitement it's not going to happen it's not going to happen for some time and again the video that I'm going to put a link to shows Pattaya in its worst situation it's probably ever been that's not going to return overnight the money it's going to cost to reinvest in these properties and at the minute the world is in a, a terrible situation with outbreaks of new viruses uh, it, it's just I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel so as far as Thailand returning back to normal this year it ain't gonna happen for those people who want to retire to Thailand yes it's a fantastic place to live live out in the sticks in the countryside like where I am you won't see much things going wrong in Thailand but when you go to the entertainment zones that's when you see it and that's when it's shocking Phuket is the supposedly saviour of Thailand they're going to see how the sandbox works and then roll it out to different locations the way it's going at the minute it's putting people off the hoops you've got to jump through to come to Phuket I think people are going to visit 
places closer to home than long distance travel to Thailand. Those people who want to make the effort to come to Thailand and retire, yes, still do it. It's worth the effort jumping all th through them hoops. But for those people who just want to come on a two week vacation, two week holiday or even a month's holiday, just forget about it. it, it, it it's not going to be the place that everybody talks about. You're not going to get that same buzz, that same magical feeling. I'm, I'd be surprised if anybody come here for two weeks, whether they'd actually come here again, because everywhere is shut. Again, Phuket is like a chicken and egg. The businesses won't open until the tourists come, and the tourists won't come until the businesses are open. There's no real support for businesses in Phuket to get them open. To, to give them some sort of financial aid, to give them the incentive to open the business. Who's going to invest in something that they still don't know? It might, we might be here this time next year in the same situation because of different variants of the virus. It's a sad time for Thailand and it's a sad time for everybody else. So the video link that I'm going to suggest. Um, again, I think it was a shocking video. It certainly was a sad video for me to see what Patty is really like because I've never really been to Patty for two years and to see it in its situation now anyway the video link that I'm going to put up here is NDTVI and that's by Nick Dean and he's just done a video on the walking street in Pattaya and I shed a tear because it's so desolate it's so shocking and the music that goes with it sounds of silence is a haunting song and it put into perspective what Thailand is suffering now at the minute in the entertainment zones. So watch Nick Dean's video and I'll put a, a link down below in my comments so you can click onto that link and it goes directly to his video. I'm not going to show his video on my channel. He deserves the, the watch and the views on his channel because he's done the video and you'll see Thailand is a long long way from reopening to its heyday. For me, I think maybe it's a year, two years at the very, very most. For those people who want to visit Thailand for the good times, wait until next year. So anyway, that was my quick video with regard to my little rant on how it's going in Thailand at the minute. So from Les living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.